Hey, April, April Fool's Day! How's everybody doing out there? It's the first day of April. It's April Fool's Day. I have made some videos for my Connect Pal. I'm starting it out right. I'm thinking of all kinds of fun things to do, and so I did that. And now it's back to reality. I just cleaned my kitchen, and I'm going to go out and prune some more apple um, bushes, tree. We have to prune our apple tree every year. It's really a pain, but it just is what it is. So we're going to go do that. But I just wanted to stop for a minute and wish you happy April Fool's Day. Happy April 1st, a new month, closer to summer. And it's officially spring break. So you know what that means. Fun, fun in the sun. It's starting to get warm out there. It's starting to, I'm starting to get excited. It's the time of year where we get our umbrellas out um, and just get excited and turn the music up blaring so loud. This is my casual yard work uh, outfit. I'm going to go out there. I just changed. I, I did a uh, dress date uh, video and now I changed into my work clothes. This is my work clothes, yo. And I'm going to go out there and use the saw, and I'm going to saw up the outside. Why not? Hey, everybody. I'm making um, vegetarian stuffed peppers uh, tonight for dinner, so I thought I would take you along the journey, the short version. I made rice, and I put rice in this bowl. I cut up onions. I put in... Um, it's just hot. I just made the rice. I put in cheese. I put onions. I put mushrooms. And I put olives in this mixture. This is going to go in the peppers. I'm going to stuff the peppers with this vegetarian. So cheese. And I put some feta cheese in there as well. And so now just chop up the stuffed pepper. Let's move it so you can see. Chop the stuffed pepper as closest to the top as possible. Take the middle out and all the wonderfulness inside. I don't know if I've, I might have already put, gave you a pepper recipe on this channel, I'm not sure, but. I probably didn't do vegetarian is what I'm thinking. And so I thought I'd try to give you the vegetarian, the healthier version today. And of course, if you like meat, you stick whatever kind of meat you want in there. Cut out, something's boiling. And then I've got spaghetti sauce over here um, simmering right now, because that's what I'm gonna put them. I usually just make it right on top of the stove. I know some people bake it. So I'm going to have stuffed peppers and banana bread for dinner. Oh, and I have Oreo pie. So whatever anybody wants. So there's two peppers. And so I have three peppers that are going on there. Put the inside. Okay, rinse them out. Okay, now what I do is um, move the peppers to the side. And I usually take the top of their peppers. Let me show you. I usually take the top of the peppers and just chop those up and put those in the inside mixture. Because why not? Why waste all that? that aside and then just chop chop all that up to little pieces without chopping your finger up. Okay. 
get it as small as you like it. A couple of big chunks that need to be trimmed. All right, and then just stick that inside the bowl. Now you've got everything in your bowl. You've got your rice, you got your black beans, you got your black olives, you got your um, feta cheese, Colby Jack cheese, and onions and mushrooms all in here. All while your sauce is going on the pan. And I'll show you that in just a minute. So what you're gonna do then is stuff these bad boys full of your rice mixture. Bam! As full as you can get them. And then the rest you can kind of either make meatballs or just put them um, in your tomato mixture because they're good for people who don't want a pepper. So look at how amazing those look, right? All right, so now let's transfer them. We're going to put them right here on the sauce. Delicious, right? So right there on the sauce. I'm just going to leave them there. And then the rest of them, I'm just going to pour in the skillet. So if you can see that, the rest of it, I'm going to pour on top and all around. my favorite. Alright, so top it off in there. And bam! You've got some delicious, delicious stuffed peppers. Now just leave it on the stove on low because you don't have any meat. And just let it simmer. It's like 135 now, just so let it on uh, medium low. And before, and then when your family gets home, bam! You're going to have that delicious vegetarian stuffed peppers. Now, if you have somebody in your house that, that wants meat, then, um, like I have chopped leftover hamburgers in the refrigerator. And so what I'll do for my husband's is I'll just chop up the hamburger, warm it up, and then put that on his stuffed pepper. So I hope you enjoyed that, my version of veggie stuffed peppers. Have a nice day.